This month marks 40 years since one of the most shocking tragedies in American history. Jim Jones, the leader of the People's Temple, orchestrated the mass killing of 900 people, many of them children. They were all poisoned in the jungle of Guyana in a place he called Jonestown. Mm. California Congresswoman Jackie Speer was there that day. She was trying to save some of those people, but she ended up, she ended up needing saving herself. Watch. In 1978, Jackie Spear was a 28-year-old lawyer and aide working with California Congressman Leo Ryan. At the time, constituents reached out to Ryan about their American family members living in a remote jungle in Guyana. Under the leadership of Jim Jones, the controversial pastor of the People's Temple. In an attempt to investigate, Ryan led a congressional delegation overseas, along with the team from NBC News, in hopes of meeting Jones and his followers. Spear was at his side. One of the tactics out there at People's Temple is to, is to delay. They waited three days before getting permission to tour the compound that housed over 900 people. They were met with smiling faces and later cheering crowds. I think that all of you know that I'm here to find out more about uh, questions have been raised about your operation here. Whatever the comments are, there are some people here who believe that this is the best thing that ever happened to them in their whole life. Spear remembers that moment and feeling unsettled by the response. That same night, church members secretly began to pass notes to the delegation about their desire to leave. The next day, the team got to work. Now, do I both understand you to say that you both want to leave Jonestown yes. on this date, November 18, 1978? Yeah. What is your wish today? To go back, go back home. And where is home? U.S. When Jim Jones was questioned about losing members, he responded. People play games, friend. They lie, they lie. What can I do about lies? Anybody wants to get out of here, can get out of here. Then on November 18th, the unthinkable happened. The delegation, including 15 defectors, were trying to leave the country when they were ambushed. Ryan and four others, including NBC News correspondent Don Harris and photojournalist Bob Brown, were killed. NBC soundman Steve Sung was wounded. Spear was shot five times at point-blank range. And back at the compound, Jones led more than 900 of his followers to their deaths after instructing them to drink a cyanide-laced beverage. Spear waited nearly 24 hours for medical attention and somehow, after sustaining life-threatening injuries, survived it all. Congresswoman Jackie Spear is now sharing her memories about that day and the challenges she's faced since in a new book entitled Undaunted Surviving Jonestown, Summoning Courage and Fighting Back. And she's here with us to talk about it. There's no question about it. It was such a horrific event to go through. I was watching your face, watching that clip. What comes back to mind for you, and what are you feeling emotionally? 40 years, almost to the day. It's, um, it's a heart-wrenching look back, and it, um, it, it was full of um, angst and pain and fear and, you know, coming to the end of one's life. That's where I was, lying on that airstrip, thinking I was going to die there. My whole right side of my body was blown up. I had a bone coming out of my right arm. Mm. Um, and so when, when I survived, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't spend the rest of my life as a victim, that I was a survivor, and that I would move on and dedicate my life to public service. And so that's really what I have done. I've known you for a number of years. Uh, you're a frequent presence on MSNBC. I did not know this was part of your story until a, a few years ago. How much did what happened on that airstrip, how much did that shape you? Do, do you think you would be a, a congresswoman from California had it not been for that? So uh, I think you become more fearless because once you've looked death in the eye, you're not nearly as afraid. Mm -hmm. now, I ran for Congress. Uh, to fill Congressman Ryan's seat, and I lost. Mm -hmm. And the book is about a lot besides Jonestown. It's about being a three-time loser mm -hmm. and losing uh, for Congress, losing for lieutenant governor. Um, it's about um, a 14 years later being challenged once again, horrifically, when my husband was killed in an automobile accident when I was 
three months pregnant with our second child. So it's a life that's had um, lots of ups and a few lows that have um, allowed me to really um, put that into the book. So people can take uh, heartache and turn it into hope. That's what I want this book to be about. When I was preparing for you today, there was something about um, what you mentioned before that grabbed my attention. You talk about the power of trusting your gut. And even in that situation, when I, and I mentioned in the clip, when you heard the people applauding, in that moment, did you feel like something was wrong? And then you look back in your life when you've been able to make, you know, get through some of these challenges. What was your gut telling you? Or talk a little bit about that. So there was, there was a, um, an aw unusually long um, applause, and it was a little frenetic. Mm. But even before that, I was very concerned about going on that trip. And I was in the process of purchasing a condo in D.C., and I made the contract stipulate that it was going to be null and void if I did not survive the trip. Wow. So I had huge premonitions. Now people would say, well, why did you right. go there? <laughs> right. And, you know, at the time, it was 1978, there were few women that had senior roles in Congress. I thought, if I didn't go, and there was another staff member going, if I didn't go, then that would set women back. And yeah. so that was the rationale. Well, stay with us. I want to talk more about your book coming up ahead. As Jackie mentioned, that horrific day in Guyana, believe it or not, was not the worst day of her life. We're going to talk more about that when we come right back with more of her story. We are back with Congresswoman Jackie Spear talking about her new book, Undaunted, Surviving Jonestown, Summoning Courage and Fighting Back. Let's dig into your book a little bit. Talk about what um, pushed you to go ahead and sit down and write it, especially because a lot of people, when they have a traumatic event, they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to deal with it. They want to put it behind you. Or put it behind them, but you wanted to write about it. Talk about why. I wanted to write about it because I wanted it to be a survival guide mm. uh, for women in particular, both personally and professionally, uh, for women getting into politics today. I mean, there's things I would do differently now if um, I had only known. So I wanted it to be... Things like what? Well, you know, I wouldn't wait my turn, for, for starters. Um, there's... You just have to put yourself out there. You've got to be willing to um, do it over and over again to get legislation passed. You can't ever give up. Uh, not that I've ever given up, but those are some of the, the lessons that I'm hoping will come out. Of. And you can't be, you have to, when I first got to, con first got to the state legislature, I was told, now you can't work just on women's issues because, you know, you've got a, a broader perspective. And then one day I thought, well, if I don't work on women's issues, who's going to do it? <laughs> so um, I've spent a lot of my years working on um, the woman's agenda because I think it's very important for our country to, you know, be one that is not 90th in the world in the number of women serving in elective office on a federal level. Whether it's professional with your career or whether it's personal with some of the strategies that you dealt with, how do you push through? Well, there were times when it was really tough. I mean, I, when... My husband died, and I was left with you know one five and a half year old and pregnant with a second where I was a high risk pregnancy, and it was a financial disaster because he was the big breadwinner it was It was very hard it was hard to get out of bed and I was telling my father that one day, I said, Dad, I just don't know if I can bring this baby into the world i 'm just feeling like i can 't really do this and he said to me, Jackie, get over it mm -hmm. and it was, it was one of those you know shocking realizations that took me a while to appreciate that I had to get over it, that mm. I, I had to move on with life. And so this book is about how you can really move from being a victim to a survivor. Uh, there have been times when, you know, I had a couple of miscarriages, one at 17 weeks that uh, turned into an abortion. Um, we adopted a baby and the birth mother took the baby back. So it was, it was quite Wow. Mm. Quite a road. But Congresswoman, uh, it it's sounds like a fascinating book. Mm -hmm. What an amazing story. And look how far you've come from all of that, huh? Well, I, you know, the, the most important thing in my life, though, mm. has been giving birth to these two children. Mm. And it's what we do best, I think. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for Thank sharing you. your story.